Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to be showing you an adjustable base, and it's actually a brand new adjustable base that, as of the time of this filming, is not even on the market yet. This base is called the Lineal, and it's from the Sapa company. So it'll be sold online directly to the consumer, just the same way all of Sapa's mattresses are sold. And this is a timely launch in our mind because we get a lot of questions from our users about adjustable bases. So we're excited to show you this base, um, particularly because this is a very feature rich base. Um, everything on this base for starters is controlled via this wireless remote. And it's got a lot of really high end functionality. Uh, just for some examples, this is a base that has wall hugger functionality. And we'll show you what that means later in the video but that's certainly a characteristic of virtually all very high-end adjustable bases. Um, it also has things like underbed lighting, uh, a little flashlight on the remote control. It's got, um, of course, head massage and foot massage, uh, which you can control independently. It's got the ability naturally to raise your head and raise your feet, store your favorite positions. Um, and this is a base that is made to work with really any adjustable friendly mattress, uh, including most of the mattresses that the Sapa company makes. But what we're showing it on currently is the Lumen Leaf mattress. So we're excited to show you all the features of this base. Stick around. So the first thing we're going to do is just show you the full range of motion for both the head and feet of this adjustable base. So I've already started pressing the up button for the head here, as you can see. And uh, so the head is going up. and. We've timed this out, by the way, already, so we can tell you that uh, it takes about 35, 36 seconds to go from absolutely flat to the very uh, uppermost head elevation position. Um, so we're just gonna show you what that position looks like, um, for starters. And this is a position that's gonna be really for maybe watching TV, um, maybe working on your computer. So this is, this is the maximum head position. Um, and, and now we're gonna go ahead and show you the maximum foot position. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start raising the foot while I'm still lowering the head. Uh, the feet elevation from flat to peak takes about 23 seconds or so. Um, and one thing you're gonna notice as the, as the foot of the base goes up is that the mattress itself is not going to exactly contour to the base right now. Um, and that uh, has a lot to do with the fact that this is a brand new mattress, a relatively new mattress. So um, it's not yet, it certainly is new as it relates to its use on this base. And so it hasn't yet um, kind of broken in, in a sense. So that will, over time, you'll start to see your mattress contour more closely, especially a mattress like the Lumen Leaf to your base. Um, so this is the full uh, range of motion for the feet. We're at the, at the peak here. Uh, obviously a great position if you're someone who likes to just relax, kick your feet up. Um, so and I'm going to put this down and actually the way I'm going to put this down is just pressing this flat button on the remote. And so that's a button that just takes you back to flat. And in fact, will also stop any massage features that you might have had going. So it's really kind of a all done button, if you will. <laughs> Uh, ready to go to sleep type of button. Now another elevation feature of this base are these pre-programmed buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and just press the zero gravity button to get this started. And so what it's doing now is just moving the mattress into a pre-programmed position that involves a certain amount of foot and head elevation. First it's going to get my feet into that position and now it's now it's moving my head. And Zero gravity, just for context, this is a position that um, is meant to emulate weightlessness. So it's a position that's supposed to be good for pressure relief and pain relief. Um, so this is the pre-programmed factory setting of zero G. But one thing we'll show you in a little bit is you can reprogram any of these uh, preset buttons to whatever you prefer. So, um, but first we'll just show you the, the TV setting. Again, this is just the factory um, factory setting for TV, but it's going to elevate my uh, head a lot more than my feet, obviously, in this position um, relative to that zero G. So here is meant to be a TV watching position. 
Um, and then there's just a, a straight up custom button. But any of these buttons can be programmed to whatever you want by simply pressing the set button. So what you do is you first get the, um, you get the base into the position that you like. So maybe my TV watching position, I like to be a little bit more upright. Maybe like this. Maybe I even like to have my feet up a little bit when I'm watching TV. Okay, so maybe this is my TV watching position and I just press the set button, hold that until the base vibrates and then I press the TV button. It vibrates then three more times really quickly to just let me know, got it. And so now if I go, let's say to zero gravity, it's gonna move my feet up a little bit more and my head down, but um, then I can go back to TV and it won't go to that first TV position, it'll go to the new TV position. So just let this go down. And now I'm gonna press the TV, okay? So again, it, it does these things in sequence. So first it's gonna lower my feet to where I had them for this TV position. And now it's gonna bring my head back up to where we just decided was our favorite TV watching position. So that's how you would store any of these things. And, and like I was saying, there's a zero gravity, a TV, and then the custom button is just for, you know, whatever position you just uh, want to decide goes there. So very easy to do, uh, very useful, because I'm sure you're going to have some favorite positions that you want to go to all the time. Another feature of this base is massage. And there are two motors in this base, one in the head and one in the foot. And you can control them independently on the remote. And basically they each have three speeds. So I can turn them on by just pressing, let's say the up button on the head. Uh, and then I can increase the intensity by pressing that up button some more. This takes me to the top speed uh, for the head. And then I can activate the foot similarly by just pressing the up button on the foot and then increase the intensity of the foot massage by continuing to press the up button. Naturally, the down button will uh, decrease the intensity of either of those. Uh, the other massage feature is what they call a wave feature. So right now I've got these motors running uh, sort of simultaneously on, on head and foot. But if I want them to kind of alternate a little bit, there's three speeds of alternation that I can choose between. So this is the slowest alternating. So it's kind of going foot, head, foot, head. Now I can increase it to speed and now it's more like foot, head, foot, head. And then I can go to the fastest and now it's foot, head, foot, head, foot, head, foot, head. So, uh, and then I can just turn that feature off entirely and go back to just simultaneous massaging. So there, those are kind of the choices you have. And then when you're done with the massage, you can just turn this power button that, that turns the massage off completely. Or as we said earlier, pressing the flat button will also turn off any massage. One really big feature of this base is called wall hugger functionality. And to understand why this matters, you first have to understand how a traditional adjustable base works, which is that as your head is elevating, particularly as it gets more into those really upright positions, it starts getting further and further from the wall which can make it really hard to access things next to your bed, like on your nightstand, for example, without having to actually get out of bed. So what wall hugger functionality does is it actually, um, there's two movements going on here. So as my head is elevating, the bed itself is on a track with wheels. And so particularly as I start to get into those more upright positions, the bed starts moving backwards to, to keep you, to keep your head closer to the wall, to hug the wall. And what that allows for is that even when you get into the most upright positions, you're still able to access things that are beside your bed. We're showing this on a, a, a lovely uh, step ladder here. But, uh, but what you can see is that I can still mm, access that water very easily from bed, uh, if this functionality weren't here, this bed would be about, or my head I should say, would be about six to seven inches further forward, which is how much this bed just uh, rolled back on its track. 
uh, to, keep, to get me into this position. So six to seven inches would make a big difference in terms of being able to access this water on my nightstand. So that's really the value of this wall hugger functionality. And it's something that really distinguishes um, really high-end bases from, uh, from sort of the starter bases. And so we thought this was a feature you may not find on other bases at this price point. This base also has a few features related to lighting or operating it in the dark, which we wanted to point out. For starters, the remote is, has a backlit display. So anytime you press a button, it, um, it will actually light up and therefore you can see and will hold that backlit for a few seconds so you can really easily navigate this remote and even in the dark. Um, the second thing is the remote has a flashlight. So it's hard to see in a room like this, but when you press this flashlight and hold it, uh, the flashlight button, it will create a nice little beam of light that you can use uh, to walk around in the dark or even just see across the room in the dark. Uh, and the last thing is underbed lighting, where you can just use this um, underbed light button to turn on these underbed lights. And that really kind of lights up the room in a very subtle way so it's not to wake up another sleeper, but certainly in a way that allows you to safely kind of navigate across the room uh, in the middle of the night. So it's a nice little suite of features that just um, adds a little uh, functionality to this base. One concern people might have with adjustable bases is sound or noise. So we wanted to just describe a little bit the sensation here. Uh, of, in particular, there's really two uh, possible sounds that come out of this thing. One is for the massage motors and the other is for the elevation. So let's start with the massage. Um, so, and we'll put these things on their highest intensity levels. And what you can say here is that you could definitely hear this sound. I mean, but maybe more even more strikingly, you can feel the vibrations. We have this on a hardwood floor with no kind of carpet or uh, padding underneath of it. So, to me, if this was, if I were living in a house uh, by myself, uh, then this wouldn't be a bothersome amount of noise. Um, but it could be bothersome to other people in the house. Or for example, if you live in an apartment building uh, and you have people below you, then this could be something that's bothersome. So the company recommends that you put uh, either carpet underneath or some kind of like rubber padding underneath the, uh, the feet particularly if you're on a hardwood floor, and that will help absorb a lot of that vibration and therefore that noise. Um, so that's, that's what we can say really about the, the massage noise. In terms of the, the head and foot noise, it's actually, um, I'm just trying to be quiet so you can hear, it's, it's relatively minimal. Um, I mean, certainly it's not gonna be disturbing to someone in another room um, or in another apartment if you're going up and down. So it's really only the massage that you'd have to worry about. And uh, otherwise I would say that this motor is, uh, as it relates to the elevation, is very quiet. One feature of this base that we find particularly useful for people who have kids running around, particularly little kids, is a lock button. So spoiler alert, get the kids out of the room before we explain how this works. Uh, but essentially what you can do is hold this lock button down for about five seconds until the back lights flash three times. And what happens is once that's been pressed, none of these buttons will do anything uh, except the flashlight button, which will still operate in lock mode. Uh, but the benefit of that, of course, is that you probably don't want kids coming in your room uh, and pressing these buttons and having your base. So, Hopefully, with the remote in a locked position, kids will quickly lose interest and move on to other buttons to press somewhere else in the house. Um, to get it out of the locked position, of course, all you need to do is hold that same button down for five seconds, and it will flash three times, and now your base is operational again. One thing you may be wondering about is how this adjustable base might work with your existing bedroom furniture. Maybe you have a headboard that you like or a, even a full bed that you want to continue to use. Well, the lineal base is designed to function and work with whatever bedroom furniture you already have or choose to buy. Uh, it actually comes with hardware that is designed to just kind of connect it to whatever um, 
furniture you'd like and the uh, heights of the of the base can actually be adjusted the legs can easily be adjusted when the base is set up uh, they go they go between six inches and ten inches so what that means to you in terms of the overall how high the platform is off the ground it goes from 14 to 18 inches so we have it set on the middle setting so as you can see that's about 16 inches but this is kind of the range you're working with with this base and then on top of that you have the height of the mattress so what we have here the setup we're looking at with this lumen leaf it's about 28 29 inches off the ground the, the mattress which to me feels about right um, but let's say you're someone who has a little more difficulty getting in and out of bed you can put these uh, legs on their lowest height setting and in that case you might actually want a thinner mattress as well it, let's say you had an 8 to 10 inch mattress you could have the height of the top of that mattress would be down in that 22 to 24 inch range on that lowest leg height setting um, the other thing we wanted to mention when it's placed into a bed um, you're probably not going to see this because it will likely be covered by your bed but but this uh, exterior of, of the lineal base is, is meant to be seen uh, in terms of the fact that it, it looks nice. It's got kind of this microfiber um, cover on it, which is a real softness, kind of a suede-like feel to it. Um, and you still probably would see that, by the way, even if it was in your furniture, when, particularly when the head is elevated, you're likely to see uh, this part of it when you get into those upright positions. Um, you might be wondering what these are. Uh, these are called retainer bars. Every adjustable base has them in one form or another. Um, sometimes you see it at sort of a bar down at the end of the mattress like this, a single bar. Um, in this case, they have them on the corners. Its purpose is just to keep the mattress from sliding off the bed when the head is elevated, basically. Um, some people wonder about making the bed with these things. Obviously, you just need to lift the corner of the mattress to get the fitted sheet on um, and the same thing when you're going to be tucking in your sheets but for the most part you're going to have a blanket uh, so from an aesthetic point of view you're never going to see these on a day-to-day -day basis they'll just be covered um, so that's really kind of an overview of how the the lineal base can fit into your your overall bedroom furniture situation one important consideration when you're picking out an adjustable base is weight limit. So we wanted to be sure to mention the weight limit of this lineal base, which is 700 pounds. And that weight limit, as, as you will always see when weight limits are quoted for an adjustable base, includes the weight of any mattress that goes on the base as well as uh, the weight of any sleepers. So for example, this lumen leaf that we have on here weighs just under 100 pounds in a queen size. And so you'd have about 600 pounds remaining for any sleepers that are on top of this. So now let's talk about the price of the lineal base, which as you might expect varies by the size. Now most people are going to get this base in a queen or a king or maybe a California king, but it is also available in a twin, a twin XL and a full size. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up. The price of the twin is about 1200. The twin XL is about 1250 the full 1300, the queen 1400, and the king and the California king are 2500. Now you may be wondering why such a big jump between queen and king. Well, the answer is that in the twin through queen sizes, you're looking at a single set of motors that runs up the middle of the base for both positioning and massage. Where when you step up to either of the king sizes, you're looking at two sets of motors, uh, one on each side of the bed. Uh, so basically that's two sets of positioning motors, the motors that control the elevation up and down, as well as two sets of massage motors, which control the head and the foot massage. In fact, in the king size, the standard king size, it's not even one single uh, piece of hardware. It's actually two separate twin XL bases that they send you. Um, and that's why the price is exactly double the twin XL price. Um, and in that case, if you have a single king mattress, you're going to want that thing to go up and down uniformly with a single remote. Um, and you'll just have to mention that to the guys setting it up and they'll configure it. It's very simple for them to do where, where the remote will, 
will, a single remote will allow the entire, both units to go up and down together. Uh, so it'll function essentially as one single king base. Uh, however, if you would prefer to have your partner uh, and yourself be able to go up and down independently, then you can also just get two twin XL mattresses to go with the twin XL bases, which will still um, basically be the exact same size in total as a king size mattress. But then you'd be able to go up and down independently and, uh, and you'd, each base would of course come with its own remote. Something else you may be curious about is the delivery of this base and also the setup. Sort of how does this thing get into your home and, and get set up? Because this is not a small piece of equipment. Uh, this is a base that arrives in a box that weighs almost 300 pounds in a queen size. And it's a big hefty thing to maneuver. Um, we actually set this thing up ourselves. We brought the base in and did it with just two kind of able-bodied guys. Um, but but Safa will actually do all of that work for you. They, when the people come and deliver it, they're the same people who will come into your home, bring it all the way to your bedroom, take it out of the box, set it up, put it together. The whole process is not too complicated. In fact, there's only about four or five steps. You can, it basically comes fully assembled. Uh, you wanna just basically screw the legs on, and then you're gonna uh, plug in the, the power unit, and then you're gonna plug that into the wall flip the thing over and install these, these uh, retainer bars. That's basically it. It took us maybe 15 minutes. The toughest thing is just maneuvering this big heavy piece of equipment into your bedroom and, and, and getting it all kind of ready to do all that. Um, so they'll take care of that for you. In terms of the cost of that, if you buy uh, a mattress from Sattva in, like with this base, uh, you're not going to pay any delivery charge in addition to the normal $99 mattress delivery charge. So to put it differently, if you buy a Sattva, Lumenleaf, or Zenhaven mattress, uh, you'll pay the $99 delivery charge for the mattress, and if you add on a lineal base, there'll be no additional charge. Uh, and they will do all that work of bringing it with the mattress into your home and setting it up for you. And, uh, and so that's a really, a really nice benefit. If you buy this base separately, you'll just pay the $99 fee uh, for the delivery of the base. And again, it will include all of that setup work, which, which we can attest to in terms of the getting it into your bedroom is, is well worth it because <laughs> um, it is a big, heavy uh, thing to maneuver. Another thing you may be wondering about is what happens if something goes wrong once this base is in my house? So we wanted to make sure we covered uh, both return policy as well as the warranty, which I think is really the most relevant point here. Um, as it relates to the return policy, this being a, a big bulky base, there, there are no returns per se. Um, so in other words, you can't just buy this and decide you don't like it and return it. That being said, if something were to break or go wrong on this base, um, as long as it wasn't caused by damage that you did, um, then you're certainly going to have some protections. Uh, and those are principally going to come through the warranty, which is a 25 year warranty. But we wanted to just explain how the warranty works just to, be, to make sure you're clear on that. Um, so basically for the first year, which, which we should mention is by far the most likely time for any kind of mechanical defect to reveal itself. Um, and in that first year, you're basically completely covered you're gonna have, uh, the parts will be sent to you for free. They will come and install them also for free to make whatever repairs are needed. Um, for years two and three, you are going to get the parts, whatever they are, for free. And the only difference is that you're gonna have to pay to have them shipped to you as well as installed to the extent that there's something that you can't install yourself. And, and then for years four through 25, Basically, it's the same policy, but the one difference is that they will not be covering electronics in, once you get into those later years of the warranty. Uh, so the motors, as well as any kind of the electronics, wouldn't be part of what's covered beyond that point. So, but all of the steel and framework of this thing would be still covered for that full 25 year period. So, and the other thing that we would mention as it relates to uh, the, just the warranty or what, go, what could happen if something goes wrong in general is that we do think it's nice that you've got two companies kind of standing behind this product. Uh, the first 
is of course Sattva, who is the company that is selling this to you. And as it relates to the uh, online mattress world, they are without a doubt one of the most well-established companies um, and one of the biggest. So we do think that this is a company that's kind of here for the long term to stand behind a product like this. Um, and then the second company is the one who actually makes this base, which is a company called Leggett and Platt. And you may not be aware, but Leggett and Platt is the largest components supplier to the entire mattress industry. They make a really the majority of the springs that go into mattresses, and they also have a very large ba uh, adjustable base business. Um, this is a company that's been around for a long time, about a hundred years or so. Um, and so it's a company that certainly uh, is gonna be around and is a very healthy, um, long-term viable company. So it's also reassuring that they are uh, standing behind this product as well. So just to summarize some of the things we've covered in this video, the Lineal Base is a brand new adjustable base from the Sattva company that is sold online directly by Sattva to you, the consumer. And this is a very feature-rich base that is all controlled through this wireless remote. Uh, we showed you how it has a range of motion for both the foot and the head that can be controlled independently or simultaneously. We also talked about how there are three uh, opportunities for uh, programmed positions to be stored and accessed through a single touch. Um, we talked about how there's a, a head and foot massage that can also be controlled independently with three speeds each, as well as a wave function that alternates between them. Uh, we talked about how there's a variety of lighting features that will allow you to use this base uh, in a dark room very easily, including a backlit remote, uh, underbed lighting, as well as a flashlight on the remote. We talked about how the, the remote control can be locked to keep little hands from pushing buttons and uh, you know, having your base go up and down all day long. And we talked about how one of the biggest features of this base is its wall fu hugger functionality, which is what allows you to access things on your nightstand easily, even when you're in a fully elevated upright position. And lastly, we covered how all of this is available at a price point of about $1,400 in a queen size. So we hope you found this to be a helpful overview of the new lineal adjustable base from the Sapa company. For more helpful information about choosing the right mattress for you, go to goodbed.com. In the meantime, thank you for watching and we hope you sleep well.